The biggest problem with making French toast is that you can usually only fit two, maybe three slices in the skillet at the same time, which means you have to cook, serve, and eat in batches. So we wanted to find an easier way to make French toast for a crowd, and Elle's gonna show us how it's done. That's right, and in addition to making it faster and easier, we wanted to make it without having to use any special type of bread. We're just gonna use the hearty white bread we have in our pantry. So I'm gonna start with three large eggs. To that, I'm gonna add two teaspoons of packed brown sugar, a half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, one tablespoon of vanilla extract. Mm-hmm, you're not skimping there. No way. And a quarter teaspoon of salt. So mixing this together, just make sure that all the spices get mixed into the egg very well. We wanna make sure that there are no streaks of egg left at the end of it. Okay. All right. Now that it's well mixed, we need to add two tablespoons of unsalted butter. So this two tablespoons of melted butter is gonna make our French toast more luxe and have more deep, rich flavor through and through. So I'm gonna add this last one cup of milk and then we're ready to go. All right. All right, now that we have a nice, well mixed custard, it's time to start making our French toast. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna put this here to the side and bring over an 18 by 13 rim baking sheet. <laughs> that is not a skillet. It is not a skillet. In this case, it's even better than a skillet because we're going to put the French toast in the oven. Oh, I love it. Yes, I'm just gonna treat it with a little bit of cooking spray. Now we're gonna go into the pan with our custard. No more dipping of the bread. This is looking easier and easier. <laughs> That's the whole point. All right, so we have eight slices of hearty white bread that you would have at home. Love it. And we're just going to put the bread in a single layer on the sheet in the custard. And we only want the custard to soak in about a quarter of an inch on each side. And so just as I've laid this last piece down, it's already time to flip over to the other side so that it can absorb as well. So fast and so even. The other thing, the first piece that gets dunked in the bowl is usually very different than the last piece. <laughs> That's very mean? true. This is gonna be even, there's gonna be no waste because all of this custard is going to absorb in about a minute and it's no fuss. We really didn't have to do a whole lot of work. Okay, so we're gonna cook this French toast in the oven. So it's gonna cook in the oven for 10 to 15 minutes until the bottom of the bread is golden brown. We're starting with the rack in the lowest position in the oven. We have a second rack set five to six inches from the broiler and it's at 425 degrees. Okay. Ooh, starting to smell like French toast in here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Let's check it and see how brown it is on the bottom. That looks perfect. Nice, so a little spotty is okay. Yes. The most amazing thing is that we don't have to flip this French toast. We're just gonna move it up to the broiler and let it finish cooking on the opposite side. Ooh, I like it, it's easy. So we're just moving it to the top. This is about five to six inches from the broiler. And this is gonna go for about one to four minutes. As soon as the broiler goes on, you start counting and then we'll be ready to go. All right. Perfect, we cannot leave. We have to stay here and watch it. All right, it's been about four minutes. Let's Ooh, take a look. That's amazing. Oh, wow, that's perfect. That is straight up amazing. Okay, so I'm just going to flip these over. Both sides have had a good time to cook. I'm gonna flip it over so the bottom can steam because sometimes that broiling can dry it out a little. So by flipping it over, you're just trapping the steam so the top can soften a little bit. Yes. There we go. Look at that. Yeah all at one time, all in the oven. And as you said before, there was no leftover egg mixture, no waste. No waste at Love all. Love that. No fuss, no waste, my favorite kind of breakfast. <laughs> yeah. And I think we are ready for French toast. All right. Okay. Two pieces? Yes. Two pieces, nice. Let's put a little butter. This is beautiful. I love your plate. Your plate is a lot of butter with a little syrup. Mm. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna dig right in. All right. Crisp. And it has that little tender bit right in the middle. Mmm. Yeah. Crisp all the way around. That's right. Little custardy right in the middle. That is French toast perfection. My favorite part are the crispy edges. Mm -hmm. That is the best part. Mm. Cooks well through and through, not soggy. Mm. And it has great flavor. I mean, you can taste the spices and the vanilla that you put in there. Not too much, but it doesn't just taste like eggy bread. It tastes like French toast. This is terrific. Thank you. I just love how easy it was. So to make this easy French toast, beat together three eggs, a few seasonings, melted butter, and whole milk. Then pour into a greased rim baking sheet. Lay pieces of sandwich bread onto the sheet. 
and let it soak up the egg mixture on both sides. Bake on the lowest rack of the oven, then turn on the broiler and let the tops brown for a few minutes. Before serving, flip the toast over to soften the toasted tops and serve with plenty of butter and syrup. From America's Test Kitchen to your kitchen, a fabulous new recipe for everyday French toast. Killer, Thanks. killer recipe. Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later.